Hello, hello. It is Roisin here, Roisin Curé, with my latest little mini sketchbook, Galway, Italy, Dublin, France and Lanzarote, from September to December 2023. Now, this sketchbook didn't start off amazingly well, so I thought I'd better put in this nice little picture of ink on the front cover. Now, this might have been after a glass of wine, or I wouldn't have put such a big speech bubble at the top, but there you have it. Now, this one is some people in the Ryanair flight queue, and I didn't get very far before they moved. And then my mother and I flew to Naples, and our first stop was Pompeii the day after we arrived. We were only there for a few days, and it was hot and sunny and absolutely fabulous. And you can see all about that in another YouTube I did. Now, this is just drawing people on the platform and they aren't my best figure drawings but there you go this one is a little bit better this is where people used to have their fast food in herculaneum and another one from herculaneum which isn't too far from pompeii and it's amazing and now the next one is drawn in the museum in naples and i was really drawn to these busts made out of some kind of metal i don't know what it was and on the left we have a Mosaic from Pompeii, Beware of the Dog, which, I don't know, people in Pompeii were kind of into that kind of thing. I did the little sketch on the left in the museum in Naples as well. It's kind of like a crazy god that people would just like have in their house. And the little drawing on the right was from a postcard. I think it's kind of like a Fayum portrait, those paintings they put on sarcophagi in the Roman times. This one is from the streets of Sorrento because I was very taken with all the beeping and sounding and the horns and everything that was on the street. Back home in Dublin, I gave a little workshop for just a few people on the streets of Dublin, which was immensely enjoyable, lovely people. And I was showing some techniques for drawing buildings using just a watercolour brush first. That is really useful. Now, I pretty much like to draw everything, but I really love nature subjects. And this one was very enjoyable, I suppose, not least because of the gorgeous subjects, but also because of the very limited color palette I used. Just those oranges and browns were just fab to paint. A very quick sketch of my son, Paddy, watching some kind of computer show on Netflix that wasn't for me. Now, one morning I came downstairs to let my little doggy out of his crate <coughs> cage um, and he looked so cute I happened to have my sketch pocket slung over my shoulder so I made a sketch of him there and then and I was very happy that I had my bag with me because it, it meant I got a sketch that I wouldn't otherwise have managed to catch. Now a flight to France on a Aer Lingus plane was made far more enjoyable by sketching the view out the window. I do like to do that. Um, once in France, I made my way from um, Lyon Airport over to Clermont-Ferrand and I drew that gentleman having a nice quiet snooze and listening to some music. Unbeknownst to him, I was drawing the whole thing. So in this one, I drew the drawing on the right hand side first and I was in a restaurant at the time and this is this was actually a black and white photograph on the wall of the restaurant. All around me, my French colleagues were drawing caricatures of each other, which I find really cramps my style because everyone's laughing and doing funny drawings and that's just not me. So I liked the kind of expression on the faces of these two guys and I drew them. Now, when I was at the festival, I uh, was asked by the kids who visited us to draw loads of animals for their copybooks and things. So that explains all these animals on the left hand side and I remembered how much I love drawing funny little animals and it was a real pleasure to draw for the kids even if my panda stripes aren't quite right and we won't even talk about the horse's hooves. Hmm. Well I was only away for three days but nonetheless in the airport on the way home I saw some bars of chocolates that I thought would make lovely gifts for my kids. So I got them and I also drew them in class with my students. Now, about a week after that, I went off to Lanzarote with my husband. And this is a drawing from the marina from the Jardín de Cactus. Now, you can see all this in my last, well, one of my recent YouTubes. This is a view from the Mirador del Rio in the north of Lanzarote. And it looks out over the sea um, and it was just a lovely view. Sitting on the beach with my husband, drawing the sparkling sea and all the people lounging around and having a nice time on the sand. Back at our hotel complex and sitting around the pool late one afternoon and just getting a quick sketch in. 
these are the animals that I saw while I was in Lanzarote. Now, the, the fish on the top left, I had to keep darting in and out of the sea to remember what I'd seen, which was not a very clever idea. So the rest are all done from photos, even though I did see them all. I did see them all in the flesh. Around the um, pool, there was some beautiful planting of agaves and cacti, and I really enjoyed sketching those. And this one is somewhere on the coast, on the east, with my husband. We had a nice lunch of, I don't know, toast or something with something nice in it. So that's not very, it's not very interesting. This one is sitting on, <laughs> all this sitting I'm doing. Well, that was basically what we did in Lanzarote. Sitting, sitting, sitting. This one is on the coast at El Golfo with the waves crashing in, coming in from the west and rock pools forming at our feet. On our very last day, drawing the little rowboats in the harbour in Arrecife, the capital. Really enjoyed that sketch. Sitting on the dart, which is the light rail system in Dublin, making a nuisance of myself and drawing the fellow passengers. And in Galway Market with the Urban Sketchers Galway group um, in, in a very, very cold wintry day, drawing the trees around the market just a sketch I knocked out at home. My son, Paddy, nothing to do with the uh, ladies on the left-hand side. They were in a cafe earlier. And I think possibly my favorite sketch of this entire book, this is um, a mouse making some Marma Google Hub, which uh, is a bit close to home because I actually have a mouse problem in my house. But uh, if they made me cakes, maybe I wouldn't be so annoyed by their presence. So I hope you've enjoyed this little sketchbook flick through. And I look forward to sharing with you my next one. Bye for now.